In this video, I'm going to show you how to traction your shoulder by yourself at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. O here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're looking to put more motion back into the shoulder and need some very safe exercises, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. We're going to use pulling motions or traction to help restore range of motion or movement into the shoulder capsule. It's also going to stretch the muscles and soft tissue around the shoulder to help you just move it a lot easier and hopefully have a lot less clicks, maybe even less shoulder impingement going on. The great part is you can do these pretty much anywhere, at work, at home, they don't require any special equipment. One thing I would like to note, these exercises are not designed for any serious or significant injury to the shoulder. So if you have rotator cuff issues, torn ligaments, muscles, you name it, this is not designed for that. And if you have to ask, is this going to help condition XYZ, my answer is always go to your local doctor and ask them instead. They'll give you the best answer for that. So other than that, let's get started and get those shoulders feeling a lot better. So we're going to go over two different exercises. One is going to be a pulling traction and the other one is going to be a pushing traction. So make sure to go over both and use the one that you feel is giving the best results for your shoulder. So let's start with the pulling exercise first. The easiest way to be able to do this is to sit in a chair that has wheels. So your basic office chair would be perfect. What you want to do is lower the chair to where your arm is going to be parallel with the floor. It puts the shoulder into a better position to get better traction into it. So what I'm going to do first is stabilize the shoulder that I'm looking to traction. I'm going to take the opposite hand and I'm going to make an L shape with it. I'm going to cup underneath the armpit with the thumb and then put my fingers like this over the front of the shoulder to stabilize it. We want to make sure that we can almost grab onto the shoulder right here because it's going to help brace it. What I'm going to do with the shoulder that I'm looking to traction is take that arm and I'm going to take two fingers like this, make like the Vulcan sign, and put it over a doorknob. From there, what we're going to do is make sure the arm is parallel with the floor. I'm going to brace this right here a little bit further by leaning my upper body into it. And at that point, you should almost start to feel a gentle traction into the shoulder. And then I'm slowly going to start to wheel back the chair. And when you do this, you're going to start to feel a really good amount of traction into that shoulder. Only go to your comfort level. This should not cause any pain or discomfort. If it does, please discontinue immediately. When I get to a point where it's a very good traction into the shoulder, I hold that for 15 seconds. I just release it from there, give it a little bit of a breather. And at that point, I'm just going to repeat that process upwards to five times and then just switch to the other shoulder. So if you don't have a chair, this is how we're going to also be able to do it. Make the Vulcan sign, put that over the doorknob, make sure that the arm is parallel with the floor, L-shape with the other arm into the armpit right here. Let's lean forward to brace it. And from there, just lower your butt towards your heels. And at this point, again, you're just going to feel a very good traction into that shoulder. Only go to your comfort level. Hold 15 seconds, relax, repeat up to five times. And when you do these exercises, if you do feel like a pop, click, cracking sensation into the shoulder, it is completely normal. A lot of times it's just gas being released from that shoulder capsule very quickly that gives us that knuckle crack sensation. So with this next one, we're going to focus on a pushing motion to get traction into our shoulders. All we need is a small towel, pillow, anything that's going to offer some cushion, and we just need a door frame. So I hope you have a door frame. What we're going to do is place the towel onto the door frame right here, and I'm going to place my arm like this. If you notice the bottom of the arm, the tricep right here is going to be parallel with the floor. I'm going to take my hand and I'm just going to put it on the top of the shoulder. What I'm going to do with the other hand is reach through the door. I'm going to grab the other side of the door frame and from there I'm going to go into a scissored stance almost like I'm going to lunge into this. And what I'm going to do is just build a little bit of pressure into the elbow by leaning my upper body into it. This is going to help drive that shoulder anterior to posterior to help counterbalance rounded shoulders. 
And then what we're going to do from there is use our body weight to then lunge into this. And I tell you what, you're going to feel a great stretch into the shoulder capsule. Only go to your comfort level, hold that up to 15 seconds, just relax a little bit, and then repeat that again up to five times. And from there, switch to the other shoulder. But with these, they should put a lot more range of motion into those shoulders. Hopefully, will give you a lot less tightness and stiffness, even some quick pain relief. Give them both a try. I hope they help. So if you liked the video and it gave you a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.